Hey everyone, I'm Bryant Gomer and I lead mentor programs and corporate partner engagement at Tech Nation. And we're here today having an awesome conversation with our, our, our partner and our friend Brittany from Shopify um, to talk about how Shopify thinks about collaboration and partnering with a nonprofit like Tech Innovation. Thanks, Brian. So yeah, my name is Brittany and I lead the youth outreach portfolio at Shopify. And we are sitting on the social impact team, which is a pretty awesome team. All right. So let's jump right in to thinking about how Shopify engages their employees and how ultimately that benefits uh, through volunteerism, an organization like Tech Innovation. So Brittany, I want to start with what have been your most successful strategies and practices in engaging Shopify employees in volunteerism? Yeah, totally. So Shopify employees, or as we like to call ourselves, Shopifolk, are really passionate about our company's mission, which is to make commerce better for everyone. Uh, And because they're so passionate about this, they really understand that we need to do whatever we can to level the playing field for underrepresented and underserved communities. But in order, so in order to accomplish this, everyone part of our mission, um, when you know we talk about volunteer opportunities within our outreach programs, we connect directly to this concept for them. So connecting to our employees' deeper sense of belonging uh, and greater mission at the company has folks feeling like they're contributing to volunteering, uh, contributing by volunteering their time, which is they 100 percent are are doing that. Um, and then when it comes down to actually recruiting the shop of folk. Uh, We develop an internal communication strategy in order to plug the opportunity in all of the different digital spaces that our people frequent. So we aim to engage people within the communities they actually opted into already. So that's whether that's our women at Shopify employee resource group, regional newsletters, or internal dev Slack channels. Um, People like the opportunity feels in line with their values and interests. So they're more likely to sign up. So with that in place, though, you know, what are some areas you're focused on continuing to improve that you know you need to work on uh, with engaging Shopify employees? Yeah, this has been a constant work in progress. I'd say, you know, we've really been developing our volunteer strategy for the last five years. Um, and especially as our support for tech innovation grows, our volunteer strategy has naturally uh, involved, evolved. So the two areas we're focusing on, at least for next year, is our uh, volunteer training and employee recognition. So. The training piece, you know, it's important that volunteers have all the information they need before actually starting their commitment. Um, we found that it's it's not just about giving shop of folk the information, but ensuring that we do it in a way that reflects our company culture. So we leverage internal learning tools to prep shop of folk, as well as facilitated training with opportunities for shop of folk to try out their newfound knowledge in safe spaces. We actually do a lot of like mock scenarios for shop of folks so before they they start engaging with youth we we run them through a bunch of different scenarios and and stress test their their learning uh and then the second piece that we're working on which again is also a work in progress especially in a digital by design um environment now is our employee recognition so our aim is to get better at celebrating our dedicated shop of folk volunteers at scale they put in hundreds of hours into mentoring the next generation of leaders. Um, and volunteers tend to get involved because they're in it for the gains they experience during their commitment and not for any swag or gifts they could receive. So our recognition strategy has to reflect uh, this mindset that volunteers have. Um, and so, you know, to, con- like, to basically not put our energies into swag and mini material items, um, we've we found that volunteers want to understand their impact. They want to deeply understand that their participation has made a difference, and that is, um, and that it was important that they personally were there and not just not just anybody. So this way, they feel like their time was well spent, and they can feel good about the decision to participate. Absolutely, and we of course love when a partner themselves are celebrating their volunteers. Because that makes it that much more meaningful and, and even even like accessible for us to be able to celebrate them when, when it's kind of this collective on both ends. That's great to hear. Yeah, totally. And it's like it's something where we're building communities within communities, right? Like we're building our own internal like tech innovation volunteer base, which then they fit into your larger tech innovation volunteer base, which builds into just the overall movement of supporting uh, girls in tech and entrepreneurship, right? So. It's just like building those like, you know, 
microcosms. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, shifting a little more to engaging specific folks. Um, like prior to 2020, a lot of employee engagement teams were always concerned about certain employees that were maybe more remote than others that weren't mm -hmm. near large centers of, of the company um, or offices of the company. And, and I know Shopify has always been, you know, mindful of engaging their folks, but obviously things are a little different now the last couple of years and moving forward. So I do want to ask, how have you been successful and continue to be successful in engaging your remote employees? Yeah, this is a great question, especially because all of Shopify employees are remote now. So you know, but because of this, it's truly opened the doors for many folks to volunteer in our programs all over the world. So previous opportunities were tied to our office spaces. Uh, but now that most programs have gone virtual or have maintained a virtual component, like more and more Shopify folk are expressing interest in getting involved. So that's a huge win. Um, and like with any volunteer opportunity, we found it's important to have everything prepared, as I've said before, and ready for the remote volunteer ahead of time very much handheld, uh, I'd say, is, is the key here, um, so that they can simply show up and just do their magical thing, which is support the young people. Um, so, you know, for example, we've done things like just populating their calendar for them, like anything that they're involved with, like it's a no-brainer. They just click on the link and show up. Step-by-step um, -step onboarding instructions to give them all of the information and any possible <laughs> questions that they would have. Um, obviously, hands-on training is really important. And then we do lots of frequent check-ins uh, throughout the program uh, with feedback loops. That's great. Yeah, you, you mentioned hand-holding, but I mean, that level of support just makes that remote employee feel less remote. They're fully supported. You're right there with them every step of the way, especially exactly. at the begin that beginning stage. That's great. Yeah. You've kind of mentioned, you know, at Shopify, how, how you're kind of building these like almost micro communities to build momentum for this kind of technovation, almost movement at Shopify to get everyone to buy in. So kind of thinking strategically with that, or just do you have tips on that sense of camaraderie uh, kind of for building a sense of community within a company when you're engaging at scale kind of, you know, all over the globe? We have lots of these uh, embedded in our strategy. Uh, don't laugh, but you know, we love to build in warm fuzzies uh, into our community communications. So that really just means like celebrating small and big wins alike with like lots of photos, emojis, calling out specific volunteers, doing amazing things. I think that piece is so overlooked. Um, you know, kind of what I talked about, we want to get better at celebrating our people um, and, and doing this consistently, I think is just so key to building that community. Uh, we also encourage open dialogue among volunteers. So they leverage one another during the program. I find it's helpful like when talking in our internal Slack channels to tag like two to three veteran volunteers when folks ask, ask questions. So you're both highlighting these amazing dedicated people, but you're also signaling for others to jump into the conversation. So that's been pretty key. Also think it's really important to be transparent about any hiccups occurring in the program. Um, it's, I think, really tempting to just highlight all the good stuff and be like, rah, 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 like everything is going great. But if you can be honest about what's going wrong, where you're pivoting and why, it really builds trust with volunteers. And they're just more likely to get engaged and actually help troubleshoot issues with you, um, which is an amazing side effect. Uh, and then lastly, we aim to be proactive in providing information. So again, like context, commitment, upcoming dates. Um, we want to make sure we're super transparent about the amount of hours they're going to be uh, taking part. Like, we don't want them to be surprised. Like, oh, you know, this mentorship commitment that was supposed to be one hour a week actually turned into five hours a week. Like, we want to be upfront with what they're getting involved with. Um, and always, of course, inviting questions um, from, from our volunteers from the beginning. Brittany, thank you so much for this conversation. I know we get so much out of it. Our whole team will. And I hope others that view this uh, get, get a lot out of partnering uh, kind of with volunteerism in mind. Amazing. Well, thank you for welcoming the conversation. And it, I love work, like we love working with Technovation. Uh, we believe in your mission and we're so excited to keep building with you guys.